Now the next step is to check our application on a live physical device and for that we need an APK. So stop the server, run the command EAS build configure. The platform in this case is Android. Then run the command EAS build p android profile preview. This is going to generate an APK in the export dashboard. Select yes when asked to generate a new Android key store. Our app is on its way. It's going to create an APK after a while. So let's wait. You can see that the APK has been created and ready to be downloaded and installed in any Android device. So let's open our emulator. This emulator is screen sharing the exact same thing on my phone. So whatever you are seeing here is actually on my physical device that I'm using right now. So let's open the same link on the mobile and download the APK. Do remember that this is an actual device that I'm using. It has downloaded, so let's install it. The app has been installed, so let's open. You can see the exact same thing has opened, just like it was being opened in Expo Go. Let's press the button, and the notification has been received, as you can see in the status bar. Do note that the notification is being received from the Notify mobile app and not from the Expo Go. Here is the app that we just installed and you can see the badge of number one on top of it indicating that we have a notification from this app and that is the exact notification that you just saw. Now let's try to receive a notification from external server. Write down the exponent, wish token, message body, title and the data. And click on send notification and you will see on the right hand side that we have received the notification from an external server which is exactly what we want now our apk file is receiving notification our app is receiving notification from external server as well as local notifications